video which is a hair tutorial. I'm going to be doing basically like a, a simple guide to a three simple hairstyles that I use on a weekly basis that are quick, easy, good to hide greasy hair. Winning. And um, yeah, I'm just going to get on with it I think. So this is my hair, Just I've just taken it down from its clip. It's a complete and utter mess and it's greasy, it's gross really. Um, I haven't washed it for quite a long time now, a good sort of four days. Um, I'm trying really hard not to wash it too much because I'm trying to get the condition of it. <laughs> Have we got one coming? No, we're good. I actually figured this was a good time for me to do the hair tutorial because this is the kind of hair that I'd be trying to cover up with the different looks I'm going to show you today. So um, they are designed to be quick, easy and still look so, um, hairstyle number one, I'm going to go with my Milk Maid braid. I have already done a tutorial on this, so if you want, I will uh, link that in the description box below, so you guys can have a look at that if you want to have a bit more of an in-depth tutorial into how you do this look. Just roughly part it at the back. So all you need to do is just simply braid it, really. It doesn't even have to be, like, majorly, majorly neat either. So just... Braid it normally like you would a normal plant. And then once you get to the end, you just want to secure it with a hairband. You're not going to keep him in there. You're just going to secure it and then you'll take the hairband out in a minute so just to keep the braid in and then what I do is I then move this braid down to a little bit further towards the end you don't want your hair to fall out of the braid but you just want to give it a bit more room so you can just sort of mess it up a bit so just sort of separate it out just to make the braid a bit fat a bit of a zhuzh and then you are done with braid number one. And then you do the exact same thing on the other side. So then we're going to choose one of the braids, it doesn't really matter which one it is, and then we're going to take it over, put your finger here and just push down, lift it up over the top of your head, take this band out and then we're just going to secure it with a bobby pin. Then you're going to get your other braid do the exact same thing, so finger here, right the way around and make sure it joins up with the other braid. We're going to take the hairband out and then we're just going to secure it the exact same way that you secured the other one. And just keep pinning away up there until you feel that the plaits are secure enough and they're not going to fall out. That's literally it for hair style number one and that's the milkmaid braid. my own personal favourite simple easiest ever hairstyle. Oh, I love this hairstyle. And it is basically just a loose pin up bun. Now um, the way I do this is I usually put my head over and then I then brush it from the back. But for the purposes of this video I'm going to try and do it sitting this way otherwise you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Brush your hair back as much as you can. The aim of this is to try and get it as high as you possibly can sort of on the top of your head. So I'm just going to brush it up from the bottom just to be as high as I can. Now this hairstyle is brilliant if you've got quite sort of like dirty hair, like if it hasn't been washed for a couple of days because it really tends to hide the greasiness. Um, I definitely recommend getting like dry shampoo if, if, you, if you can. Okay so I've got it really high on the top of my head now, um, I'm now just going to twist it. all the way to the end and then you'll see it just starts to loosen up 
and then just twist it in to like a bun shape. Now, this is supposed to be like a messy sort of bun, so it doesn't have to look neat or anything like that. Pull it a bit out of the front, just generally mess it up. And then rather than tie it with a hairband, I'm going to pin it with some bobby pins. So just wherever you feel like it needs to be secured, just sort of on the, on the outside of the bun, get a pin and just stick a pin, sort of stick the pins inside the bun. Usually with my hair after the first pin, it's fine. <laughs> I'll put another one in here. I try and sort of avoid putting too many around the top because I quite like that sort of rolled look and I find that if I put too many pins in there then that rolled look sort of tends to go. And then I just pull down the side. I use the VO5 high volume extra strong hold and this one is also weather resistant um, just to tame any sort of flyaways which you'd sort of tend to get with this sort of hairstyle especially down at the bottom. And there you have it, just a simple messy bun. You can have it as loose as you like, as tight as you like, it's entirely up to you. The third and final hairstyle I'm going to do is going to be using a hairband. Yay! Now um, this one was given to me by my mum, um, either that or I potentially stole it, no, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, I think she got it from like a vintage sort of store. If you are looking for a sort of headband type headscarf thing, then I recommend having a look in the secondhand shops and the vintage shops because they have some really nice patterns, like 50s, 60s and 70s patterns, which are so much more unique than the ones you see on the high street. So if you're looking for one, then um, give them a go and also they're usually really, really, really cheap. So for this style, I'm going to put my hair quite high on my head and as messy as I could possibly get it. Um, I find it's easier to get messy when um, it hasn't been washed for a while and it's got some dry shampoo in it. Now just messily pile it on the top of your head. Um, don't worry about being too neat with this because you are of course going to be putting a band over it. I'm then just going to put it into a ponytail. So I'm going to leave the end part still in that bun. Do you see what I mean? So I haven't completely pulled it through. I'm then just going to join these bits around here and just sort of try and make it into a messy top knot. I've got another hairband which I'm going to use. I'm just going to put it around the top so I can then make it into like a bun type thing. And then I'm just going to tease out the hair. Now I want this to look messy, it's not going to look tidy. It's not the look you're going for. So just tease it out until you've got like a pretty standard looking messy top knot. I don't like my hair to be too tight so I'm just gonna gently pull out here as well just so it's not too. So you could just leave it like this if you wanted. I do think that's quite a cool look and then maybe pin bits in if, if they sort of fall out like this bit here. He could do with a bit of pinning or tuck it back in the hairband under there. I've then got my hairband which has already been tied and I'm just going to pop it around my neck. This is going to mess up my hair now. Oh! Hey hey! Um, but that's alright. I've already tied this and that's fine. It's sort of in like a little bow. I'm now just going to push it up. My ears are now sticking out. I'm then just going to get those little long bits down here and that is me done I tend to put pull this quite far forward because I like it quite far forward you might want to pin it a bit up there just to make sure it doesn't move around but other than that that's pretty much it and as you can see that literally took me a few minutes I definitely recommend doing these hair styles on um, a sort of few day old hair but if you have just washed your hair and you want to do one of these hairstyles then just get yourself some dry shampoo, spray it all on there and it will definitely sort of toughen up your hair and make it much more easy to mess up. And that is it for this tutorial, I hope that you guys have found this really helpful, I hope that the, you can use some of these hairstyles for when you go back to school or um, if you're in a rush and you're going to work in the mornings and I will see you guys really soon, see you later, bye!